Well, grab a seat for this next story and prepare to be amazed. A local man is getting a lot of attention on social media for his wood art. So much so that his intricate designs are turning the heads of celebrities, athletes, and pro sports teams. Tonight, photojournalist Eric Gedros shows us what he can do with a bit of wood and a scroll saw. My name is Luis Jaime, um, and my business is That's Badass Wood Art. I make custom scroll saw pieces. And then I cut out pieces on my scroll saw individually to assemble glorified puzzles. I got into this because in high school I took a wood shop and I fell in love with this working with my hands and it's primarily woodworking. And after years of working retail, I got tired of it. I wanted to stay home with my kids and my wife and I found out what a scroll saw was. With the help of YouTube and the woodworking community on social media, I tried my hand at it and via trial and error, I make the pieces I'm able to make nowadays. I had friends and family reach out to have custom orders being placed, and then I used that as my avenue to explore other options, sports pieces, um, movie posters turned into wood, and then one thing led to another. I make some action shots from Vikings games, I get the attention of photographers from the Vikings, and just kept the ball rolling. The possibilities are endless though, because it's the kerf of the blade is so thin that it's, it, you can fit everything back together like a perfect puzzle. Each piece takes me approximately anywhere from one to three hours. That's including, I draw all the stencils myself, print off the stencils, glue them down on the plywood, size them up, make my frames, cut everything out on the scroll saw, sand everything, stain everything, assemble and glue. The average I'd say is about an hour and a half to two hours. The Vikings are my favorite sports team, so that's what I try to lean towards and I end up making as many pieces every season as I can of, of various players and um, the purple and gold never gets tired of saying that. It was when the Vikings played in England and he had that tea time celebration I was like oh that'd be a really cool piece something different. Um, so I made it, tagged him in it, he saw it, he follows me so he saw it right away. We worked out a, a way to deliver it in person. And I made a piece, it's a Polly Walnuts piece from the Sopranos and I sent it to a guy out in California and he shared it on his Instagram page Come to find out he's, he's like a celebrity chiropractor, so one of his followers sees it, just so happens to be Mr. Stamos, um, and then as a surprise birthday gift, came up with the idea and we made that custom piece for, for John. So the coolest thing is just knowing that people get to feel it in hand and see like, oh wow, this was handmade, this wasn't made in a, in a factory or this wasn't mass produced, this is, you know, every piece is individually made and stained by me, boxed up, shipped out by me. I'd be lying if I didn't. It's a good feeling. Those yeah, are amazing. I know. I could have watched about five more minutes of I that. Know, right? Good for this him. This is fascinating. Um, and yeah, it's just amazing. And that John Stamos piece looked exactly. It was John right. without a face? It was John Stamos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>